Hey guys, Brady here. And I know I reviewed this movie a while back, but um, I didn't feel like I touched upon many many things of the movie. And so I took the video down and wanted to give you more thoughts on it. Because I saw it again. And um, to me, the only strong suit in this movie was all the jokes they made about previous attempts at bat at the Batman lore or whatever you want to call it. Those were all really funny. Uh, all the jokes they made, uh, the jabs they made at Suicide Squad, Batman and Robin, uh, just everything. All those were hilarious. Um, but uh, some of the stuff that doesn't revolve around previous attempts at Batman were kind of like, eh. Um, they weren't funny, but the thing that keeps this movie afloat is all the, is is just them parodying Batman, parodying, spoofing, I should say, I can't say parodying, it's hard to say, but spoofing Batman. But uh, other than that, uh, the Bat, Lego Batman, I guess, Seeing it a second time, I noticed some things about him that I didn't really like. Um, he's great as a supporting character, but I don't know. Some of the jokes in this movie were, it was just him by, not I'm not saying him by himself, but where they weren't making jokes about other Batman movies, they were making their own jokes in this movie. They were, some of them were really funny, and then others were just, just fell flat on their face. Like, um... I don't know, like, whenever Bruce Wayne was like, quick question instead of quick question, or uh, just all the um, shortened terms of today, uh, trying to sound hip and all that. And, I don't know, the design of Batman, he, he's, as a Lego figure, I mean, I would love it if they just cut back and forth with him as Bruce Wayne and him as Batman, because just seeing him and, just seeing Batman and his glowing blue eyes he kind of looks weird it's like it looks like a man trying to portray bat portray batman but not physically batman um and it's kind of it's kind of funny the way the way he the way you just you see him you see him every uh every moment of the movie and it's kind of funny how he looks it's just like i don't know the, the blue eyes is kind of funny it's hard to explain like he and i i it's hard to explain, like, it, uh, he just has a very serious facial expression throughout the entire movie, and, uh, I don't know, it, I would love to see more emotion, but he's just, like, hey, I'm well, I'm well an artist, Batman. Everything's dark. And he just has like that that face. It's the same face he has every single time he talks. It gets kind of monotonous after a while, but um, like, hey mom, hey dad, I just saved the world. Just thought I'd know that. Just thought I'd tell you that. And then and then he kicks Alfred into the uh, fucking piano. Yeah. Scenes like that, where, you, where it's just close up of his face, it's just like, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like if they, they should just, this is, this is a Lego Batman movie, I get it, but maybe we needed more Bruce Wayne outside the costume. I don't know. I thought Bruce Wayne, would, I thought the character design they had for Bruce Wayne was pretty cool. I would like to see more of that instead of Batman walking around in a robe because after a while just seeing Batman walking around in a robe in the bat cave and then well not the bat cave but in but in the mansion just him walking around the road with just a helmet on is like all right so Batman never takes the mask off he just walks around wearing it all the time it's like I don't know Stuff like that was kind of stupid, but uh, the movie was really funny. I thought Zalek Galifianakis was um, pretty 
cool as uh, the Joker. He was a really great Joker. Um, I loved how, I love how, the the I love how Joker was always like we had some sort of a relationship. You and I, Batman, and that that was funny. Uh, every single time Joker made that 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 um. It was talk was talking about their relationships and stuff. That was always funny, um, but uh, and then the one scene where Batman is watching, I think it's Jerry Maguire in his home theater. That was pretty funny. There were a lot of funny moments in this. There was also some stupid moments, and sometimes there are times where Batman doesn't seem very likable. Like I know they're trying to set up a message at the end, but for the majority of the movie, he's like. Kind of neglectful towards Robin, it seems like. Maybe that's just me. Um, I don't know. He he doesn't like using the word family or anything like that. And I get it. His parents died when he was a young age and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. They they just kept trying to shove family down our throats. And it's like, okay, we get it. But I don't know. Anyway, this movie is fun. There's a lot of uh, great jokes in this movie. There are also a lot of ones that don't land as often, and mo majority of them are said by Batman when he's not making fun of the fact that he's making fun of another Batman uh, person, whether it's Christian Bale's or George Clooney's, Adam West, or anything like that. Um... Like when he when he jabs a Batman, it's funny when when they have to come up with regular material. It's not that good. I mean, I don't know. I'm excited to see if they if they if he's gonna be in Lego Two. I'd be excited for that. He's a great supporting character. But hearing Will Arnett's uh, voice, like trying to do a Batman voice for an hour and forty minutes, and even he's he's even talking like Batman when he's Bruce Wayne. Like I guess that's like his voice. Like it doesn't she doesn't change his voice when he's Bruce Wayne either. But um I don't know. Like I said, there there are there are stuff to be had in this movie. There are funny moments. There's there's just a lot of really dumb not really funny moments. Like the beatbox the whole beatboxing thing. Um it was funny, and then they kept going on with it throughout the entire movie. And it's like, no, Batman does not beatbox. Um, but whatever. I'm going to give Lego Batman three stars out of five. Um, I gave it four and a half. And then, like I said, every watch, I saw, saw it in theaters again. Because I, I, I saw it with one friend, and then I saw it with another friend. I was like, I'll, I'll, I promised I'd see it with him first, and I didn't, so I was like, I felt bad, so I was like, I'll, I'll see it with him. And we uh, we both thought it was okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's it. Batman was... Batman was okay in the movie. He, he, he had a lot... He had some funny moments. He had some low moments. Um, low moments, I mean. It's just... I don't know. I don't think I could take uh, an hour and forty minutes of uh, that that Batman voice. I could only take it uh, in like very quick scenes, like he was in in Lego Batman. But like I said, the movie strong suit is him is is them making fun of Batman. Other than that, it's just your average kid movie. And once again, when I saw this movie in theaters the first time. There was a lot of adults laughing during this movie. Like, there were, kids were laughing too, but there was a lot of jokes in this movie that adults got. Not like dirty jokes, like adult jokes, but they were just like, like I said, there were jabs at bat at the previous Batman films, and I don't think a lot of kids would understand those jokes, but the adults did, and so it made it a good movie for adults and a good movie for kids. It's the kind of movie you could take your kids to, and you won't hate it. It's not like. Uh, the Nut Job or Norm of the North or anything like that. It's a well animated film. Um, it's like it's like your Pixar's and your Disney's. They're they're great. 
it's not like Ice Age Collision Course where all the birds just uh, doing stupid kid stuff for the sake of being a kid's movie and talking down to us to the kids instead of uh, whatever. And there's like not really much adult. I'm not saying you have to have adult jokes in a in a animated children's movie. I'm just saying that movies like Ice Age is if you want to take your kids to go see that, it's kind of torturous. Well, the last two movies were torturous. And it's like, you, Disney, and right now, Warner Brothers Animation Animation Group, and uh, DreamWorks used to be, uh, were all, um, all made animated movies that were good for kids and adults alike. And uh, this movie had a, had a stuff that adults would get and stuff that kids would get so it balanced it out like Disney would or like Pixar would. I, Blue Sky Studios, uh, they're hit and miss. Anyway, so I give I give the Lego Batman movie three stars out of five. Um, it's funny. They're, uh, like, they're a huge fraction of the movie is funny, but... After that, you have to sit with Batman and all of his, all the other stupid things, and it just loses some of its steam when it's not jabbing previous Batman lore. So, yeah.